Good morning guys. So as you guys can see, I'm not in my house today. I'm actually in Sydney. I'm at my friend's Kane and Piers house. I came up here because Kane and I are actually going to test the brand new GoPro out today. You guys have probably already heard about this already because my vlogs are a little bit backdated at the moment. This is a pre production camera. This doesn't come out for a couple of weeks. We managed to get our hands on it and we're going to go out today around Sydney, ride some Super 73s which are Kane's electric bikes. I've never been on one and I've been wanting to ride them for ages and we're going to test out this GoPro, see what it can do. At this point I will have already published my review video so if you haven't watched it I'm going to leave a link in the description below to my Instagram TV video of the GoPro Hero 8 so go check it out. I actually don't know what this camera is going to be like at this point. I'm hoping it's good because the specs and stuff that I've seen about it, it looks absolutely amazing. Anyway, uh, let's get out and I'll see you guys soon. I definitely need to get myself one of these. So basically we've got the GoPro for a couple of hours. We're trying to figure out the best features on it. One of the best features I think is the new time warp feature which is a hyperlapse. So it's time lapse with motion. It's crazy smooth. We're gonna head down to the Sydney Opera House down there. Do some test footage with it. I don't know how it's gonna look. I'm super excited to see how it's gonna look. Anyway, let's do it. And seriously, I need one of these Super 73s. They're sick. So this is a real test for the camera stabilization. I'm currently walking down the stairs at the Sydney Opera House. So you would expect it would be pretty bumpy. I'm pretty puffed out. I literally ran up these stairs, Rocky style. I think I overestimated my fitness. Whew. Look at that, no hands. <laughs> <laughs> we are driving straight back. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a little bit nervous being in a car where someone is not. My feet aren't on it, and it, I'm literally doing nothing. That is so crazy. Kane just dropped me off in this place called Balmain in Sydney. Uh, I kept saying Balmain, like the clothing label, but it's actually Balmain. Uh, this is my first time down here. Just catching up with this guy here. What's up, man? Right, Good to see you, bro. Nice to see you too, man. Uh, I've never been to Balmain before. I kept calling it Balmain. Balmain fella. Yeah. Alright, you're not a Sydney local. It's a so nice spot. It seems like a very hipster sort of area. It's pretty trendy, man. This is nice. as close as we get to Melbourne. They do good coffee here? They do pretty good coffee. Cool, so let's pretty. do it. Dan recommended these corn fritters. And I just have to say, just the presentation alone <laughs> looks pretty bloody good. It looks pretty amazing. Man. Sorry about the lighting guys, it's really harsh. But this is what Dan got. I if if this tastes even half as good as it looks, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Let's try it out. Good looking out, bro. This is actually amazing. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Gonna let you down. It's got corn, zucchini, a bit of avocado on top, tomatoes. This is so on point. So this is Kate and Pia's dog, Moosley, and she is the friendliest dog. Yes, you are. So cute. It's actually really weird because she's usually not friendly to, to guys. Like, she will normally be quite scared, but I think because you've got Louie, yeah. I think she can smell. I think she can smell. And she knows you're a... And she knows I'm an animal person. Most, yeah. most animals like me. Ah, <laughs> she loves you. <laughs> <laughs> so you should cute. see my dad with animals though. My dad is like an animal whisperer. They will follow him anywhere. So my mate Jonathan, who you probably met at the wedding, yeah. he, when he came over, he'd never met Musi before. And I was really surprised how he was just so friendly, like how Musi mm -hmm. loved yeah, yeah, him yeah. so much. 
And about a day or two after, I realised that when he came in, he'd already gone via the pet shop when he first arrived, and he put schmackos ah, in all of his pockets, oh, so he so just smart. smelled of snacks. <laughs> that is really good hair. Why do you guys think my pockets look so full? <laughs> By the way, look how high the ceilings are in this place. This place is incredible. What are they? Eight meters high? Yeah, eight meters. It's, it's a nightmare though. You, the vlog's probably going to be terrible because it'd be very so echoey. echoey. I went through a phase of I bought all these soundproofing pads. Yeah, I remember at the last place. Yeah, yeah. and I put them everywhere, and then Pierre was like, "No, no, 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 they're going in the bin." Yeah. So now it's echoey again. They didn't look the best, no, but it's a, it, it's blokes like we're more functional over yeah. how it looks. Although right now, yeah, and that's, that's I would have done the same thing. I know, it's so annoying though, like the echo, it really bothers me. Because mm -hmm. if I hear echo, I can't yeah. think. It's so weird. Like no, I'm the same. I start hearing the voice and it's like I'm reacting to somebody else talking. Mm. Like I'm thinking about it, processing it. Yeah, it's hard. I feel like I'm hearing myself back and then it throws me off my next sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I get that. Never. That's why I vlog outside most yeah. of the time. So, it's a beautiful day today. Decided we can't stay at home. So we have come back out on the bikes to our Review this GoPro a little bit more, and it, it's a good excuse to get back on the bikes. Jamie doesn't need much excuse to get, get riding again. I, I really don't. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. <laughs> So I am about to look like an absolute moron doing this. Right. I feel like whenever you're testing the stability on a camera, there's one ridiculous test you have to do, but it really The running test. <laughs> Three, two, one. This is how smooth it is when I'm running and everybody's looking at me like I'm a freaking weirdo talking to a camera. But. I think it was smooth. Sorry guys, I have a weird job. <laughs> Awkwardness of being a vlogger. So what exactly is a smart bin? I'm a smart bin. I use the sun to squash your rubbish and fit eight times more in. How does that even work? Well, I think what it does is it uses the sun to squash your rubbish to make it eight times smaller. I never would have thought that. <laughs> wow, look at the presentation of that muesli. That looks so amazing. What did you get, Pia? I am so excited. <laughs> Look at this, it's a, a huge, huge mixed plate. plate. I know, it's all for me. <laughs> and Kane got the bacon and eggs. No, 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 uh, eggs. scrambled eggs no, with, okay. this is like a, oh, I thought I was ordering a hash brown, but it's like a flattened potato thing. It's, it's like a rusty, huge. babe, it's a rusty. <laughs> <laughs> flattened potato pancake. By the way, if you guys aren't subscribed, go and check out their channel. It's called Kane and Pia. They do awesome travel vlogs. It'll be linked below, top yeah. link. <laughs> it, will be, it will be a link below, probably <laughs> underneath my link. <laughs> Uh, no, no, because I'm a good friend, I'll put it on top. So cheeky. <laughs> also because you put me on the spot. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm at the airport now, so I'm going to end the vlog here. As per always, thank you so much to the OG subscribers who stuck around. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I have a strange job. I have a strange job. Uh, myself. Yeah. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> Hey, people are actually starting to figure out what plugging is in Australia. Hmm.